Hey, hey, y'all. It is Friday, or should I say Friday? And we are here with Live from the 815, y'all. Today, we are going to be making a super duper simple mom meal. So, this one is dedicated to you moms. If you have a little bit of a football team or basketball team at your house right there, and you want to find something real quick to make that would take you like 30, 20, 30 minutes in the kitchen, no longer than that then I will say this right here is definitely the meal for you. We all know it well, the little hand helper. Right, I'm going to show you homemade hamburger helper. I'm um, going to actually be more cheap. First, I want to tell everybody to say hi. I have Cass coming in. Hey, Cass. Hey. Hey. How are you doing today? All right. Okay. So we're live from the meeting five. Yes, live from the A15. All right, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around. I already have the ground beef going. Um, after I show y'all the ground beef and mix it around a little bit, we're going to get into slicing the onion and we'll get into everything. So we're making the homemade hamburger helper, a nice fresh garden salad, and we're going to do a blood orange amaretto sour for the drink today, y'all. I'm really excited about that one. I can't wait for it. Oh, all right, y'all. So let's start this off. I'm going to go ahead and turn this over to the meat, y'all. Okay, so I just got the ground beef going on like medium high. I had already started cooking it. It's not going to take that long to cook. You really won't need a cover uh, for this one today because you need to leave it uncovered once we add the noodles and let the noodles cook when everything has come to a boil. But we'll get into that when we cross that path, right? Okay. What kind of noodles are you using? I'm using macaroni noodles. Okay. Elbow. Yes, the, the, the handy dandy elbow noodle. <laughs> yep. All right, so I'm going to get into my onion because I want to slice my onion up. You can also, I do recommend adding green pepper as well. But, um, really? yes. huh? Vicky, I yes. need to see them. I need to see your shoes. My shoes? I need oh. to see those shoes. Oh, my golf ball shoes. They're so comfortable. Look. <laughs> I need to see those shoes. They're so comfortable. Look. <laughs> They're so comfortable, Cass, when I tell you. I got these from my friend, actually, because she had like a purse set to go with them. And I really just wanted the purse, but the shoes came with them. So I was like, okay. So I put them on, and it was like the heavens was singing to me. It was like, oh. oh. I said, okay. oh, my God. They are so, they're actually comfortable. And Ashton is in the house. Hey, Ashton. Hey, it's Ashton. Just like, just like Granny. Just like Granny is going to be live on Food Talk uh, tomorrow morning. And she's been live, I think, maybe three times today already. Hey, yeah. Tara. Hi, Tara. Tara loves to laugh. <laughs> Yes, y'all. So, all right. So, I got my onion nice and chopped up. I'm going to go ahead and add it over to the meat. We're going to you... swing it around town. And there's Gloria Brown. Hello, Gloria. Hey, Mom. No walking through okay. the kitchen today, okay? <laughs> all right. So, everybody tap the screen, by the way. Uh, if you are just scrolling through, just scrolling through, please give us a follow. We cook live every single day of the week. All right, y'all, okay. we're going to let that cook a little bit. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start getting the seasonings together that we're going to use. Favorite part, the flavor, right? So we will be adding one six ounce can. I can lift this up. We'll be adding one six ounce can of tomato paste. Okay. Um, okay. and then we'll be doing yes that much for the seasoning. Y'all know this is one of my favorites. Shout out to Kimmy Creations, pink Himalayan salt today, garlic powder, one of my favorites. Another one of my favorites, <laughs> chili powder. Chili powder. I was waiting for the chili powder. And some pepper. Okay. And so, homemade um, homemade hamburger helper in most of them, chili powder is a, is a staple. 
Yes, 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 yes. You got to have that chili powder. You have to. You have to. Yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead by starting to add the tomato paste. We're going to do one can. Hey, we have a, we do have a question in here. Uh, do you have a favorite brand of knife that you use? I don't. No. I, I'm, I'm actually trying to find a decent brand, but I did have some... I want to say that they were, were they Oscars or Oyster? What, what was the name of them? Oster. Those were, those were actually the ones that was more affordable that actually like last a little bit longer than all the knife sets. Yeah. But I normally have to get like a new knife set, like almost every year. So I'm actually trying to find a decent knife set that's affordable. <laughs> Cause I don't have thousands okay. of dollars to spend on knives, but. <laughs> Okay, so we got uh, that tomato paste. Ashton, Ashton, she is not making uh, spaghetti. She is making homemade hemp and milk. Yes, I am, which I actually meant to add that into the chat earlier, so I totally forgot about that. But I bet you would be happy to hear this, Ashton. I already have this recipe typed up. I just have to add the pictures after I take them today. So I dropped the ball on one, but picked the ball up on the other, and I call that balance. That's balance. That's balance. <laughs> hey guys, if, you, if you're just growing through, please give us a follow. Also visit our website, which is foodtalktv.com. And uh, you can follow us on YouTube. And oh, we actually need subscribers on YouTube. So please go follow us on YouTube. Uh, this live will be posted tomorrow or actually by Monday because our social media manager is out of town this week. So you can catch us up on what you just threw in there. All right, so to go along with the hamburger helper, the homemade hamburger helper that I'm making, you can add about a half a tablespoon or a tablespoon, depending on how much meat. I like mine's a little more meaty, so I do add a little bit more. But the recipe calls for you to use at least one pound. I probably have just a little bit over that. Um, so I went ahead and I added at least about a tablespoon of yes, that, but oh, <laughs> woo! The pepper got to me, but like I always say, if you're not sneezing, you're not seasoning. So let's keep it moving. That yes, that much. I just added that. I just added the garlic powder. Okay. I just added Ashton. the pepper that y'all just Ashton heard. Says, Ashton says, bless you. Yes. <laughs> she says, oh, thank yeah, you. She... Thank you. Thank you, Ashton. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So. I'm going to add the chili powder in. I just want to show y'all a hack. You ever try to dump out your seasoning and it just does not come out as much as you want it to? What you actually do is you twist the cap as you go and it sprinkles out perfectly. Oh, like a so grinder. You just, yeah, you use it. Yeah, you turn the top into a grinder just like that and you'll get what you need. That's pretty smart. Yeah, I probably should make that a 10 second cooking tool. <laughs> yes, you should. And I definitely, yes, I'm should. gonna be making one cause I have one on poached eggs. So I'm definitely, I'm, I, I just need to get to it to upgrade. It's in the queue. It's in the queue of videos that I need to uh, edit. All right, so now I'm adding the pink Himalayan salt. You guys don't be afraid to comment. Say hi, I look pretty proud. Yeah, say hi, I don't bite. Where y'all from? I'm from Illinois up here tap, the 815 tap the, tap the screen and share the live talk to me let me know where y'all from yes okay y'all oh yummy look at the perfect color of this already yes it's looking good it's next looking thing good. we're going to do is we're going to add in some beef broth we're going to do about three cups of beef broth from Illinois. Oh, shout out to the Illinois. We got wine. We got wine. All right. So I'm going to add the beef broth. And I'm okay. only going to use about three-fourths of this. So when I feel it get down here, that's when I'm going to stop. Because you only need about three cups. And this is four cups of, of beef broth. So you need to try to save a cup up in there. So do you need, uh, do you ever add any uh, cornstarch in there to thicken it up? Um, not really because the noodles kind of normally do it. 
I will see, um, since I didn't drain the grease or anything like that, I may have to add some. I do have it on the table just in case. Okay. So we've got a uh, country story from Idaho. Idaho. And Hi. then we've got Christina Underscore 2007 from North Carolina. Thank you guys for uh, for participating in the chat. It helps us uh, get to the FYP. Sweet. All right, so I'm going to start chopping up my veggies and putting together my garden salad. I'm just clearing my workspace for a second. Y'all know I can now work in a crowded area. I have to clean it up a little bit. I got you. So after that, after you add the chicken broth, you want to turn the heat up to high. You want to turn it up to high. You want to bring it to a boil. Once you bring it okay. to a heavy boil, then you'll go ahead and you'll add your noodles. All right. Donald, Tur Donald uh, Turner, 73, is in the house. He's uh, from uh, South Carolina. Hey, he says, South Carolina. All right, y'all. So. Now that looks really good. So you're going to bring it up to a boil and uh, put some noodles in there, right? Yes, you bring it up to a boil, and once it get once it gets up to the boil, then you want to add your your noodles in there, and then you let those cook on about medium until they get tender. So I am about to start chopping up my cucumber that I'm going to use for my um, garden salad. Okay, this way. Yeah, Ashton had actually asked that earlier. What are you going to make a salad with it? I'm sorry. Would you say what? I said, oh, that's okay. I was just uh, talking. I said that um, uh, Ashton had asked earlier what you going to make a salad with it, and I didn't get that comment. Okay. Yeah. How you doing today, Ashton? All right, so I just kind of want to cut my cucumbers kind of diagonal like that. Cause I don't like the big slices, huh? Yeah, that looks good. That looks very good. So, did you make any cakes? You got any cake orders this week? This weekend? I don't hear you. Oh, can there you we hear go. me? Yes, now, now. What happened? Okay. Okay. I was asking you if you had any cake orders this weekend. Um, I do. I have to do a nurse. Uh, I have to make a nurse scrub uh, for Sunday for a nurse that was that's graduating to become a nurse. So I have to do that cake. That will probably take me majority of the day Sunday to finish since I have to do like the pill bottles and make the pills and make the step the step the scope tell me how to say it because I never say it right. Um, I have to make like a little pill casing of, yeah, pill casing, separate pills. I have to do a batch, band-aids. So it's going to take a while for me to do that. Okay. So <laughs> do, you, do you always put your cake designs on your um, uh, on your Facebook page? I put my cake, well, I, I do put them on TikTok when I make the reel for or when I make the TikTok for it. Then that's okay. when I put it on. But like my single pictures, I do put my single pictures on Facebook first. All right. So you, you can follow me on Facebook at Vicky Brown. <laughs> if you there want to. There we go. It took you, you a while to catch on to that. Yeah. So yes, you can follow me at Vicky Brown on <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> And uh, yeah, if you would like to see more of my cake creations, uh, sometimes I have full uh, video tutorials on there that you can click on my videos and check out as well. So yes, y'all, check me out. I'm excited Ooh, about you. this one. Yeah. I know it's going to take me a lot of time, but it's going to be worth it. <laughs> Buster Maker One, thank you so much for the gifts. Gifts help. Uh, thank help you. Keep us Thank y'all so much. Thank you so much. I First of all, I appreciate y'all taking the time out to come and watch me or any of the other creators that are on here. Someone is going live every day, just about. 
So it's just amazing how y'all take y'all time to check us out. Make sure that you look for this recipe later too on foodtalktv.com. It'll be on there. You guys also, uh, not only do we go live, we've got plenty of other uh, TikToks on there on our channel. So go check them out. Uh, you're going to find nothing but food. Nothing but food. Nothing but food. Okay. <laughs> All right, so our hamburger helper has come to a boil. So, y'all see that? Perfect, nice yes. boil. Yes, Great. there we go. So now we can add our noodles. So I have probably about just a little over a cup of the noodles. And I have the small elbow noodles. I like the small ones when I do the hamburger helper. Thank you for the subscription, Pasta Maker World. Thank you. Thank you. We really appreciate you. Okay, so we're going to reduce the heat to medium. We're going to let this cook with the top off. And it should, we'll start, we'll add the cheese a little later. I'm about to turn this down to about medium. So it can boil a little bit, but you just don't want it just boiling like lava. <laughs> you just want to see maybe a nice little simmer boil to it. Small bubbles, not a lot of bubbles, you know, just bubbles that randomly pop up here and there, kind of like that, if you can see. So the next thing well, I'm going to do is, hmm? I was just going to, uh, Recognize Guadua Cooks is in the house. Thank you for all the gifts. Thank you oh, for this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all the gifts. Thank y'all so much. Y'all giving us the gifts, but really, y'all are the gifts for us. Thank y'all for taking y'all time to watch us. That's right. So, thank you for coming through with the roses, Gloria. <laughs> thank you. So, I'm going to move these to a plate because I'm going to use this bowl to make my salad. Okay. Okay. Okay, just wanna make sure y'all can see me good. Okay, all right, so now I was a little lazy because I actually been eating a lot of salads this week, believe it or not. So I have some romaine. I just have some leafy green romaine by Fresh Express. Kelly, then I'm she is going to add a little spinach to mine. Kelly, she is making homemade hamburger helper and a, and a uh, garden salad. Yes, and a garden salad. Uh, Pasta Maker One says that her chickens are about ready to start laying eggs. Oh, um, nice. Nice. How many chickens do you have, Pasta Maker? Yeah, One? I was just about to say, how many chickens do you have? And uh, Kelly, your, your girls uh, is giving you the yummy uh, emoticon. Thank you. Thank you. I like me a nice salad. I like me a nice garden salad. Like salad is like one of my favorite go-to sides sometimes when, um, I'm, when I'm making something, especially most things with pasta. I like to have me a nice salad. So, uh, Pasta Maker One says that she has four hens. She's not allowed to have a rooster. So she must live inside the city limits. There's a lot of uh, uh, city limits. You know so what? much you have roosters. But, uh, and she says like they can lay up to 300 eggs a year. Wow. Man, I just started saving money in, the, in my head real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I just started saving some money. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, that garden salad is looking good. Thank you. I like a lot of tomato look, with mine, so I can't lie. It's kind of looking like a googly eyed emoticon. And I'm an animated person, so that actually fits well with me. <laughs> I'm just going to add a couple of croutons in the corner. 
These are um, garlic and butter croutons. I really like this flavor. I'm a I'm huge on garlic. If it, nobody if nobody noticed by now, I'm very huge on garlic. I did crush these up a little bit though because I did use them for a meatloaf. <laughs> but I still have some good thick pieces in there that I could use for this salad. <laughs> I'm gonna add a October little bit of cheese. October dragonfly is in the house. She says hello to everyone. Hi, hi, Christine. How are you? I'm just gonna do a little bit of shredded Parmesan. And I'll mix it in later. I'm kind of putting it in its own separate spot. I like that Parmesan. It's shaved, shaved Parmesan. Okay, there we go. I have my garden salad. You guys, you guys are watching Vicki Brown. She is. Her, this show is called Live from the 815, and she comes on every Friday at 4 o'clock Central. She's, uh, she's coming to you from Joliet, Illinois. Yes, yes. I, if I you drop by her house, she'll make you a drink and bring it to her. Look at here. It's not just yummy. Yeah. Nice garlic. Just nice garden salad. Something super That's quick. Super easy to make. Yes. I'm gonna put this to the side. And of course, y'all know, move my area away because y'all know what's coming next, right? Y'all have to know what's coming next. The amaretto sours, y'all. We're gonna have an adult beverage. Okay. But first, let me check on how this is going so far. See, we got the hamburger helper slightly. Has a slight bowl. Look like I may not need to add the cornstarch. Look like the okay. noodles is kind of absorbing it some. It's not too watery. Look like it's thickening up to me. So that's good. We're just waiting for those noodles to really get um, tender. Right. So I have it on like a medium, medium heat right now. You and got. Yeah, uh... You got Patty Barrent. She says hi. I'm from Annie, Antioch, uh, Illinois. Eight, hey. Eight four seven area. Oh, okay. All right. Hey there. Eight one five here, as y'all know. <laughs> so. And Tippy Tippy says that salad looks great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look, it, I, I can't wait to uh can't wait to taste it myself. So. Here we go. Are we right, here? Are we here? Are we here? Okay. <laughs> I am going to start making a drink now, y'all. So, about to get my glasses together, put some ice in them so they could be nice and chill. I have everything that I need right here for my drinks. Okay. And y'all, the favorite part of the show, the best part of the show <laughs> is the Always. drink. I don't know if it's the best part for you or the best part for me, but just know it's the best part. <laughs> okay, and I need to grab, I actually need to grab an egg. Oh, oh this one's going to have an egg? egg in it? Huh? This one's going to have an egg in it? It does, egg white. <laughs> okay. Okay, y'all. So, I do want to tell you, y'all know the chances that you have if you um intake raw egg or raw chicken or anything like that so be careful do not use over the ingredient because you want it to get that fuzz you want to have more fuzz don't do it i wouldn't recommend it i would say just stay um uh, one task <laughs> just, okay. just just follow the recipe no more no less of the egg white unless you get like um i guess you can probably get like the egg white that's in like the casings or something like that, that could be, that you can use. I already got well, my fork ready. You can take a bite when I see the salad again. Here you go. I'm going to send you a piece through the phone. Get your fork out <laughs> and take a piece and take a, take a bite of that salad, girl. I, I'm going to, I'm going to feed you. I got, I got you tippy. I got you tippy. Okay. So, you know, it, you know if, if the, uh, if the top of the egg carton says pasteurized, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, salmonella. And thank you. Cause here you go, Cass coming with the facts. 
Yeah. All right, so we're using Gentleman Jack today, y'all, okay? Normally, um, you're supposed to use like a bourbon or a dry or a rye whiskey. And um, I really didn't want to use a bourbon at all today. And I'm not the biggest fan of rye whiskey, but I would intake rye whiskey. So we're going to put about four ounces of the Gentleman Jack in here. Do not, do not put ice. Um, <laughs> I know that's right, Ashton. Do not put ice when you do this first mixture. You don't want to put any ice in there, okay? The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do three ounces of amaretto. Which that's is... Right. That's right, guys. Happy hour. Yes, exactly. Which is a double shot and a half. Gouda, I need you to show me how to make my drinks look super duper cool. Thank y'all. Thank you, Gouda. Woo! Y'all know it's a party. That's right. <laughs> thank y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Gouda. You my girl. Okay. So I'm going to get a fresh lemon. Thank you. Woo! 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 <laughs> okay. Fresh lemon. I'm gonna cut it in half. Or maybe a little more than half. Maybe a little more than half. And okay. we're going to add that into the shaker. We're just gonna squeeze that right into the shaker. So we got uh, we got four ounces of Gentleman Jack. We got two ounces of Amaretto. Yes, uh, we got three ounces of Amaretto, four mm, ounces, ounces of Gentleman Jack, and this would be about mm, I would say about one and a half ounces of fresh lemon juice. I would, to guess. But at least one ounce of fresh lemon juice. Um, then we're going to add some simple syrup. I make my simple syrup, which I will have a, I will have my line eventually launched for all my different simple syrups for the bartenders out there, because I make them in a lot of different flavors, and they are sometimes the key to your drink. So after after everything get approved, I will be coming out with my line of simple syrup. So y'all be on the lookout for that sometime next year. So you want to add okay. about a tablespoon. Oh, uh, simple syrup. Hey, Cheryl. Thank you for coming in. You're Hi, watching Vicky for summer. Um, Good afternoon. Uh, TV. Okay. Now we're adding the egg white. You only need about one ounce of the egg white. So, that right there is good. Okay. That's it. You guys, please give us a follow if you're just scrolling through. We go live every day. Tomorrow is just like Granny. That is going to be Ashton. She'll be on 8 o'clock in the morning central. And uh, Vicky comes on every Friday. She brings the party every Friday. That's right. So next thing you want to do is you want to dry shake. And dry shake is basically not using any ice. You want to do this for about 10 to 11 seconds because you really, really want to shake up that egg white so you can get that beautiful fizz in your amaretto that you normally get okay so beautiful now you are <laughs> shake your baby thank you good thank you girl i'm gonna shake it okay now oh. after that you want to add ice in thank you for the hearts everybody thank you for the gifts we, uh, thank y'all so you. much yeah. for the gifts thank you thank you thank you thank you so after the armor, after you do the amaretto dry shake for about 12 to 15 seconds, I make it 15 seconds to be on the safe side. You want to add in ice and then you just want to shake it until you feel that it's chill enough. So you can tell, thank you, thank you, thank you all for the gifts. I just love y'all so much. You will be able to tell by how cold the shaker gets. When a shaker feel like you just touched a cold doorknob in the wintertime, then you know that it's where it's supposed to be. Okay, so now I'm going to pour these up. Let me wipe down a little spillage that I had. Okay. Now we're going to pour them up. Yes. Hey, I did have a question for you. Now. Yes. On your first shake. Oh, look at that. We got two, two at the same time. Did uh, I miss the hat? I missed it. Oh, I missed, missed it. Uh, uh, 
in your first shake, did you uh, check? See, I got oh, a cap, go. and that's no cap. That is where it's at. Send another one, and I'll do another rap. Hey! Oh, she's a rapper, dude. She is multi talented. Multi talented. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Cass. What question did you have? Uh, when you uh, when you did your first shake without the ice, uh, what did you look for? Did you look to see whether the egg white was foamy or uh, what were you looking for? You actually feel the egg white get foamy, but yes, you want it to look like this. Okay. Right. That's the whole That's... point of the egg white. It gives the amaretto sour a little bit of a creamy feel texture to it from that so after that you add the ice and you just shake it you can tell when it starts to get cold you can see where it's condensating on the outside already so we just gonna pour this hey i've got a i've got a announcement here uh yorkshire indian is in the house hey yorkshire indian hey, he is yorkshire. going to, he is a, a new member of food talk tv and we are happy to have him yes Welcome, welcome, welcome. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> yeah. So now I have a blood orange. Okay. Got a couple of blood oranges. Hey, Tanya. Ooh, nice, nice. And I'm just going to squeeze the fresh blood orange juice over the top. So you got to get as much as you can of that blood orange out of there. Okay. Sometimes you got to work it. Sometimes you got to work it, baby. Sometimes you got to work it. But get as much of it as you can out. It's going to give a cute little red feel to the top, but you're going to taste that blood orange when you take the sip. All right. When you take that first sip, you're going to taste it. The flavor is bold, even though the juice is slim. Man, it looks so good. Yes. It looks yes, so good. Thank you. You thank guys, you're, you're watching Vicki Brown. She is live from 815. Uh, she comes on Food Talk TV every Friday at 4 p.m. Central. We are so happy. She brings the party every single Friday. <laughs> I'm a party guy. I'm a city child. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we got that blood orange there in the top. I want to wipe this down again. All right. You can garnish this with tomato twist or an orange twist. Um, you can garnish it with cherries. I might do it with both. But you just get your nice twist of lemon. And you could just add that inside the glass. Twist it. Twist the lemon peel. And this then you can get some. This is an amaretto salad. Yes, it's a blood orange amaretto sour. Yes. Tanya, you thank you for all the cocktail icon or emojis, all those cocktail emojis. Yes, put the cocktail emojis down there. Yes, let's get those. <laughs> so Custom, like maker, one, Custom Maker One says it, it looks lovely. Thank it, uh, you. Thank up. you. Thank you. Okay, so just a couple of uh, the cherries, and I actually can show you how to do the lemon peel. I'm going to stir this hamburger helper up a little bit. But then I can actually show you exactly how to make the lemon peel. So you can just get your lemon, get your grater. All right. And you just want to take it and kind of just come down on there, get a nice little peel. Let's do that again. It don't want to peel now. I got the peels earlier. Maybe I waited too late for the lemon. Maybe the lemon got a little too soft for me to peel. Or maybe I just got to use my right hand instead of my left. So let me turn this way. <laughs> okay. And you just get the peel and peel as much as you can. You could just take it afterwards and you just twist it. Twist it real hard and then kind of mush it down to let it set and it will stay in the twist. Okay. And that's basically how you could do a lemon twist or a lime twist. It'll come out nice little twist. All right. All right. Let it sit and it'll stay nice and twisted like it is in this drink. All right, y'all. We got the amaretto sours done. Everything is smelling so good up in here, y'all. We got the drinks. 
We got the salad. I am about to yep. move this space and then we'll go back and check on this hamburger helper. Can you hold one of the drinks up to the camera? Oh yeah, as a matter of fact, I think I wanna just add a little bit more. I don't wanna- Maybe you can, maybe you can taste one on camera. You sure? Yes. Okay. I wanna see your face. Oh, you know, I don't make a face when I, you know, like I, stuff oh, that I'm talented okay. about. I don't. <laughs> so, okay. we have the amaretto sour. Yeah. Look at that perfect amaretto color. You see the fizz, yeah. and it's it is crazy because even when you pour the drink into the glass, the fizz from the egg white always comes straight to the top. It it doesn't float in. It doesn't make it look fizzy after you pour it. It just floats right up to the top. But this is it. Yeah, I want some. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to add this. I have a food truck Friday thing coming up where I'll be bartending it. And that's every Friday. So in June, uh, in the evening, after the show, after the show. <laughs> and uh, I think I'm going to add this to the list because it's perfectly creamy. It's good. It's sour. Perfect amount of sweet, perfect amount of sour. I can't wait for y'all to try this recipe out. Make sure that y'all tag me in pictures. Tag me in Food Talk TV in pictures of the recipes that you make of our food. We would love to see y'all recreate yes. or tweak our recipes and meals. That would be great. So we're going to come back over here to the hamburger helper. And look at that, y'all. It's looking good. It is looking real good. So the next thing we want to do is just grate the cheese over here. So I have a block of some mild sharp cheddar. I am going to rinse my grater off since I did just use it for lemon, which I don't think will hurt the hamburger helper, but still. And then so, we're going um, to grate that into the hamburger helper, y'all. So I just got a pack of... Rx is saying that uh, instead of egg whites, you can also use chickpeas water for the foam. And Yorkshire in, uh, Indian says that uh, that looks better than the cocktail bar that he was actually in. So, <laughs> well, that, that's great. You know what? Next time you go somewhere, <laughs> tell them to make you this amaretto sour and tell them my exact ingredients then. You could never go wrong with that. <laughs> So we're just going to grate this cheese. I have mild sharp cheddar. And again, this was just a, a super duper simple meal. Um, you know, you will cook your ground beef and your onion together till it's done. Then you will go ahead and add you one of the six ounce cans of tomato paste. Then uh, the next thing that you want to add is your seasonings, which is garlic powder which you can use about a half a tablespoon of each seasoning which is salt pepper yes that much chili powder garlic powder um and i think that's all i use chili powder garlic powder yes yes that much yes and you can um put your beef broth in after that after you put your uh, seasonings in put your beef broth in and that's about three cups or three-fourths of a 32-ounce uh, thing of beef broth. And then after that, okay, this cheese is, look, look, we just gonna, we just gonna do this. Okay, then you're gonna bring that to a boil, add you about one cup of elbow noodles. You can use large or small. I like to use the small ones for my hamburger helper. Okay. Try not to get my knuckles. And a pound All of right. block cheese. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so then after that, you want to bring the temperature down after you add the noodles and basically let it simmer until the noodles are tender like this. Occasionally mix. Now we're here to where we are and we're adding the cheese. Super duper. Tanya, Super Tanya says fun. Look yummy and Tippy says I'm on my way to the dinner. <laughs> I'm saying like, I know I get sometimes I get a some people that inbox me and ask me if I could do, you know, like real quick, simple meals, easy meals where they can just feed the kids. If you have a lot of kids, if you don't, and you just want to be in the kitchen for about 
no longer than about 30 minutes or so, then this is a great meal for you. So I did dedicate this um, mom meals to the moms that just don't, may not be feeling it that day, and but still want to give their kids and feed their family something with a lot of flavor. And that's not out the box, I guess, you know? Yeah. Uh, that's, and this that's definitely a lot of flavor. Definitely. Yes. Flavor. Right. And it will feed everybody. It will feed everybody like perfectly. Everybody will be nice and full. You can also complement this with some fried catfish. You know, you can add some fried catfish to go along with the salad and the hamburger helper. We just want to mix this up until that cheese is fully melted and well incorporated. And then we're going to take this completely off the heat. It's off the heat now. I did turn it off, but it's still on the eye that I use. So, you know, they can, it can still develop a little heat. I don't want the cheese to get stuck and start to burn to the bottom of the pan. Because no. that's not easy to clean. And then you don't want your hamburger helper to taste burnt. <laughs> Because your uh, hamburger you. helper is going to need a helper after that. <laughs> thank so. you for the roses, guys. And, uh, thank you. And uh, people want to know all your socials. They want all your right. So you can, you can find me on Facebook under Vicki Brown. That's V-I-K-K-I Brown. Um, and then you can also find me on here at Cupcake Lady 89 you can find me on Instagram at cupcake lady underscore uh, cupcake underscore lady 89 but Facebook and TikTok are my two main and favorite platforms that I use so those will be the two that you can really reach me on if you have any questions or anything like that I do answer questions we're about to plate this food and we're about to see how it <laughs> we're about to see how it tastes Okay. I wish I was there. Everybody wishes they were there. <laughs> thank you for the follow. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate yes, you. Please. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Yes. Please give us a follow. Please share the live. Uh, you can make this with. Watch, please come back and watch Food Talk TV. We are on every single day of the week. Yes, someone is going live every single day. I just want to take a little bit of this and just add a little bit on top. What is that? And it's just a little bit of yes that much. Literally just a little bit of sprinkle just to put like a little bit of herby, little herb touch on it. And I mean, this is one fancy hamburger helper, y'all. We're going to taste it and we're going to see how it tastes. So let's taste it. Okay. Okay. Oh, homemade yeast rolls. Oh, send me the recipe. I will make those. Mm. Okay, y'all. Wait a minute. I ain't mean to take the phone off you. But that's how serious this is. When I tell y'all, I'm going to send y'all something through the phone. Here, y'all. Take a piece. Take a bite. Do the phone. Okay. I got it. it. Look. When I get to eating, I forget that y'all even here. Like right, I'd be like, well, y'all still here? Cause this is good, y'all. Thank y'all so much for all the gifts. Thank you for all the love. Thank y'all for taking your time out to watch us. Make sure that you like and follow. Make sure that you are so hungry. Yeah, my mom's so hungry. She's about to be walking in this kitchen and probably point two seconds. Y'all probably gonna see her in the background two seconds. I'm not even gonna look. She's <laughs> sent the rolls for that. Thanks, mom. Like and share. Make sure you follow Cass down here too. He goes live on Thursdays. Party of two. Great chef. Great tips. You're going to learn something from everybody. Make sure you follow Dragonfly. If she's still in here. Make sure you follow Gouda Cooks. Go on to Food Talk TV. You can see a little bio on all the chefs. You can learn a little information about us. Make sure that you also follow the Mustard Queen because her knowledge alone is enough to watch the show every time she comes on. So, y'all, I love y'all so much. I was a tad bit short. I normally be, like, right on point with my time. But I was just We're a good. tad bit short today. So, sorry about that, y'all. These drinks, the Blood Orange Amaretto Sours, y'all should really make these. 
I have the recipes typed up already. I'm going to take pictures of these, get that over so y'all can get these recipes and get y'all amaretto sour on sometime this weekend or next week. Okay, y'all. <laughs> but I love y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow everybody. Follow Food Talk TV. Thank y'all for everything. Much love and peace from the 815. We out. <laughs> Bye. Bye.